once again, good morning. And today, in our Math 9 class, we'll be tackling another chapter. We are done with quadratic equations. And for chapter two, actually, it's a continuation of the first chapter. We'll be talking about quadratic functions. And for lesson 2.1, we'll talk about the introduction to quadratic functions. Now, actually, we have this during our grade 8 class down to our grade 9 class. In grade 8, we have talked about a specific type of function. We have the linear function. It is a function with a degree of 1. And for the grade 9 class, you'll have the quadratic functions. After there's more of this, you'll have another function in grade 10 and another function when you'll get into grade 11 gen math class. So today, let's start with our quadratic functions and let's start with the introduction. Let us recite our memory verse all together. Today's memory verse is found in Mark 10 verse 9. It says, what therefore God is joined together let no man separate. Now you might find this intriguing, but let me explain it further once we'll go to the review on functions. At the end of this lesson, we'll be able to do three things. First, model real life situations using quadratic functions. Second, we represent quadratic functions as a table of values, the graph, and the equation. And third, we transform quadratic function from the standard form, this is the first one, into the vertex form. We call this the vertex form. Again, standard form and the vertex form. Now, here's a basic application to functions, especially to quadratic functions. Have you noticed that when basketball players will shoot a ball, it's following the curve technique. Also, soccer players, when you kick the ball to the goal, you don't just don't kick it in a linear way, right? We go with a curve technique. And even when we play the game Angry Birds, when we shoot with a sling, it will go in a curve. A curve, is an application of quadratic functions. And we'll learn that more, especially as we go to lesson number five. Today we start with the introduction. But before that, let's have a very brief review. What is a function? Now, we first define a relation because a function is a relation. A relation is a set of ordered pairs. So just like we have the word relationship, in a relationship, it comes with a pair, most likely. Now, the set of all x, we call this the domain. Or for some, um, you call this the abscissa. And for all the y, we call it the range, or for some, we call it the ordinate. So if you have an ordered pair, for example, one and B, like the first one, one paired with B, five paired with A, eight paired with B, any of these ordered pairs, we call it a relation. The first one is called the domain, and the second is called the range. Now, how is a function related to a relation? Actually, a function is a special type of relation. So we say that a function also comes in a pair. But when will be a relation when will a relation turn into function? A relation turns into a function if for every value of x, there is a unique value of y. Here's how I will simplify it. 
a function is a pair where the x coordinate will not repeat. Example, one, you look at the x, the first ones, one, two, three, four. The x coordinate does not repeat. So we call it a function. Or another one, one a, two a, three a, four a. Ma'am, the A repeats. Yes, the A repeats. But you look at the X coordinates. We have one, two, three, and four. The X coordinates do not repeat. Therefore, we call this a function. But if the X coordinate repeats, like for example, one A, one B, 1c. You look at our x coordinates. 1, 1, 1. So the x coordinate is repeating. Therefore, this is not a function. It's a relation, but it's not a function. That's why they say relationships come in pairs. But not all relationships are functional. Relationships are only functional when for every value of x, when for every person, there is a unique value of y. But ma'am, what if the y repeats? Mathematically speaking, it's still a function. But there's also one type of function that we have. We call it one to one function. In the one-to-one -one function, the x should not repeat and the y should not repeat. Like a man reverse. For every woman, there's only a single man. And relationships to be functional must be in a one-to-one -one function. Now, let's move further. This morning, we talk about quadratic functions. Now, what 